Hello everybody. Okay, so today we're going to do a reading on an 18 year old girl that has gone missing since Friday, July 24th. Uh, her name is Gia Fuda. Um, I believe it's from Maple Valley, Washington. Um, from what I know, they found her car on a highway out of gas, that her purse was in the phone in, in the car, but her cell phone and her cell phone pinged at the car, but now they're not getting nothing from the cell phone, like it's been turned off, okay? And I believe she went missing on, like I said, the 24th of July, but I guess when she didn't return home, they, the family, I think reported her missing. Um, and her car was found on the Saturday, which was the 25th on, I believe it said Highway 2 between Skykomish and Stevens Pass. Okay, and I guess um, they found her, her purse in the car, but, and her cell phone had pinged there, but when they got to the car, the, the cell phone wasn't there, okay? Now, I guess it was her brother that was last to see her leave the house, and he said he thought she was going for coffee with friends as usual. He didn't think anything was suspicious. So if you do know where Gia Fuda is, um, the Kings County Sheriff is asking you to call 1-800-344-4080, or if you see her, as you're out and about, if you're in that area, to call 911. Okay? So we're going to do a read and see what we can get um, regarding Gia Fuda. Okay, so I'm asking the ancestors for the situation regarding missing. Gia Fuda, 18 years old, missing in from Maple Valley, Washington, I believe. That's the ancestors for the situation regarding Gia Fuda. Ancestors to connect. Gia's guardian angels. Oh gosh. Sorry guys, but that one went flying. Really went flying. So we're gonna keep that one out. And you guys know that I believe when cards fly out of the deck that that means it's whoever I'm trying to read that they want something said that they don't think is going to come out in the cards, okay? So I'm asking the ancestors for the situation regarding Gia Fuda, 18 years old, missing from Maple Valley. Okay, so this is the situation. This is a, this is the position we've got that is the main part of the situation. This is what we got to look into deeper, and this is what's secret, so what's not known yet, okay? Or what's being kept secret. So in the main position, I've got suicide. Now this doesn't have to mean physical suicide. This can also be talking about somebody's mental health or the state of their mental health, okay? In the position we got to look into deeper, I get some kind of control, okay? And in the hidden secret position, this is something that's either being hidden, kept secret, something secret, because it's in a secret position, okay? Or it could mean that things that we don't know yet, and I'm getting blood. Okay, when I get blood, that is not good. It usually means 
serious harm, okay? But we're going to go into clarification on the, all these cards, so don't fret. This will all make sense. Okay, so now I'm going to ask the ancestors for the messages regarding miss a, missing Gia Thuda, 18 years old, missing from Maple Valley. Ask the ancestors to connect with Gia's spirit guides to give us the messages that we need to know regarding her going missing. Ask the ancestors for the messages regarding Gia Thuda and her disappearance. Okay, so these are the messages that have come out, okay? So in the head, we have the crow. Now the crow is a warning, okay, about revenge or evil people, and that's at the head, okay? This is the ending, and this is what we gotta look into deeper. Don't forget, this is the main part of the situation. This is what we gotta look into deeper. And this is in the secret position, okay, which is either things are being kept secret or things that we don't know yet, okay? <clears throat> so I have somebody saying sorry, okay? And that's in the main part of the situation. I also got the boundaries were crossed and something about a suicide, but this can also mean the state of somebody's mental health. This is in the main part of the situation, so right away I'm getting something happened, something bad happened, okay? And this is telling me it's regarding an evil person, okay? Over on this side, which is kept secret, I see something about an angel. I see something about a caretaker. And I'm seeing something about blood, which means severe, severe harm, okay? And this evil person. So in the position that we've got to look into deeper, we've got that evil person, okay? And when he's met with, with her, she was alive, okay? And I think that she was alive for some time or could still be alive, okay? But I'm seeing blood, so I think, uh, I think something bad happened there and it's something about control, okay? We're going to go in for clarification on all these cards, and this is going to come together. Okay, so I'm going to ask for clarification on the bottom three cards, which is the situation. So I'm asking the ancestors for clarification into the bottom three cards, which is the situation. Let's see, ancestors for clarification into the situation. for clarification into the situation. Okay. Okay, so the main part of the situation we got Something about either a suicide or something about somebody's mental health and I'm getting a partner. So right now as this stands, these are clarification. Once we get all the clarification cards out, we'll be able to understand this a bit more because we can tie it in together. But right now I'm getting, I'm still getting, this is something about somebody's mental health and something about a partner that now this can be like a boyfriend. This can be a business partner. This could be a partner in crime. This could be a partner of this crow. Okay, we don't know yet, but we're going to get into that. 
And there's something about control and the future. Okay, so right now I'm seeing that somebody wanted to control something that was going to happen in the future. Okay. Now, the future is any time from the time this incident happened. Okay. I'm also getting blood, which tells me, and this is in the secret position, tells me about severe harm. Okay. Severe harm. And I'm seeing the grandparents cards. Now, I'm sure it's not her grandparents that did something to her. But I'm feeling this is somebody older. Okay. So this isn't somebody in her age group. This is somebody much older than her. Okay. All right. This is all going to make sense, guys. We're going to go on for clarification on the messages. So I'm going to ask the ancestors to reveal, clarify on the messages regarding Gia Huda, 18 years old. I went missing. See ancestors for clarification on the messages regarding Gia Huda, who went missing from Maple Valley, 18 years old. Hmm. Ask the ancestors for clarification into the mess. Whoa. Ancestors for clarification into the messages regarding Gia Fuda. Let's get into this. So at the head, I'm getting this crow, okay? And you guys know the crow is either, it warns of somebody that's coming for revenge or it warns about evil, evil people, okay? Something really bad. And I think that what this is saying is this crow is or was giving her some kind of hope, okay? What that hope is, I don't know, okay? This is the main position. The feeling I'm getting is that it's not just one person, it's two, okay? And this crow, before I get to this, okay, this crow is the evil one, but he has a partner that's helping him. <clears throat> and I think this partner is giving her hope. Because I'm getting, I'm getting certain vibes. I don't think this, this partner is very well either but I think that crow is the one that really wants to harm her bad and this partner is trying to like almost talk him out of it okay okay see I'm getting sorry I think it's this guy I think there's two people involved there's this evil evil guy and there's this partner guy So I think there's two males involved in this, okay? And I'm seeing that thrown away. I'm seeing sorry, okay? And I think it's this partner here that's saying to her he's sorry about what is happening with her. But I don't, with this thrown away, usually this is about the victim, okay? But in this case, I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing that this crow is telling his partner he doesn't give a 
rat's ass what he thinks. He's going to do what he wants to do with her. But I think there's still hope. I think she's still alive right now. As we speak right now, I think she might be still alive. I'm not seeing other than I think they may have harmed her. But I'm seeing she might, she might still be alive, guys. But I'm seeing this, this crow wants to control everything that's going to happen in the future. And in the end, he's hiding behind this mask, okay? And I think he's hiding behind this guy. But right now, guys, I see that she's, possibly still alive okay because i see that boundaries are being crossed and the ice the ice means that things are dissipating so i feel that things are starting to go bad the boundaries were already crossed when i believe she was taken okay from where they found her car she was taken and i think they went in the opposite direction so whichever way she was going, I think they got her and they went in the opposite direction. And the ice is telling me that things are dissipating fast, okay? So her only hope right now is this guy here to save her. And I see him saying sorry, not the crow. But this, whoever this other guy is, I think it's still giving her hope, okay? I think right now, or up until recently, I don't think they killed her right away, if she's dead. Because this is telling me in the end that she's still alive. So there's still hope that she's alive, okay? And this crow wants to control everything, everything that is happening from the time, the future. This is from when she was taken. He wants to control everything, okay? But this could be this guy too crossing boundaries. He's, I think he's trying to say, let's let her go, okay? So right now I'm seeing that she's still alive, but it's that hope is dissipating as each day goes by, okay? And now this angel card here makes sense to me. You know how you got good cop, bad cop? You got the crow and you got this guy. This guy here is trying to save her, is trying to get this crow to let her go. And she's unsafe right now because of this. The ice is dissipating. So they got to get on this and figure out where she is because I don't think she's going to be alive much longer because I see the blood. Okay. Now, I don't know who this is here, the crow and this guy, but I feel like one of them is in a caretaker role and he has a change of plans. This guy here, I believe is a caretaker of some type. Okay. And I think he's changed his mind. And don't forget, this is in the secret position. This goes with this too. Okay. There's still hope. And I think it's this guy here because he's had a change of plans. He's not on board with, with harming her. I don't know if maybe he thought that they were just going to like take her somewhere like on a premonition they're going to help her i don't know if her car broke down i'm going to look into it further her car broke down or something or got a flat tire whatever happened with that car i think they stopped to help and you had good cop a uh, good cop bad cop not saying that he was good 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 because he participated in this and i think since friday he he's had a chance that he could have got help but i think that she could be still alive okay and i think this here that this is this person here is a caretaker and he's had a change 
a change of heart, a change of plans, but she's not safe. They've got to find her soon because she's not safe. And the ice is dissipating. So this is changing really fast and bigger boundaries are going to be crossed because I see the blood. And these guys are much older than her, much older. But this crow, this evil person wants to control everything that has happened since she was taken. And this guy here is having a change of plans. I think this rain means a change of plans. And he's trying to take care of her. He's trying to keep her from being killed, but this is getting dangerously. This is like, when you get angel and unsafe in the secret position, there's a fine line between her becoming an angel and her just being unsafe. They've got to find her soon. Okay, so these are the cards that popped out. And don't forget these guys, they have harmed her already. Okay, because I see the blood. And these guys are older than her, like much older. And this guy doesn't care about what this guy is saying. I think this guy is saying, come on, let's just let her go. Let's dump her somewhere. Let's let her go. Let's not kill her. But I don't think this crow is listening to him. So he's saying sorry. Because this crow is saying, I don't care. I'm just going to do what I'm going to do. But the ice is telling me that they've got to find her soon because all hope is going to be gone very soon. Okay. And I think this guy's hiding behind him or he's not the friend that this person, because he's hiding behind a mask. I don't think he's the person that this guy thought he was. Okay. Okay. So let's go into these. Okay. I got secrets. Look at this. I've got chaos, a liar, and I got celebrate and party. So, I don't know if she was going to meet some friends for something, to celebrate something when she left home that day or evening. I think she was going to meet somebody to celebrate something. And chaos erupted, okay? And I think it's Something happened to her car. I don't know if she got a flat. Okay. But there's secrets that are being not told. And there's a liar. So I don't know if this is maybe another person involved. Maybe there's three because there's a liar or this person knows about what's happening and is keeping it secret. Okay. Let's go in for clarification. Who is this liar? I see ancestors to reveal why that liar card is there with the secret card. Is this somebody else involved or is this the initial two? That, that card. Who is that card? Oh, what does it, who is that? Why is that liar card there? Some clarification into why that liar card is there. And these are messages directly from her. Ancestors to tell me why that liar card is there. The light. The light means in plain sight, truth and no lies. So I'm trying to figure out because these cards the chaos, the secrets, the liar, the party to celebrate. Those popped out while I was shuffling. So these are messages she wants us to know that she knew wasn't going to come out in the read. So I'm trying to 
figure out what she's trying to tell us because this kind of contradicts this, okay? The light in plain sight, true, no lies. So whoever this liar is, she wants them to stop it. Stop lying. Stop hiding the secrets. Bring it out. So I don't know if she thinks this partner is lying to her. Or it could be this crow lying to her. This crow could be telling her, look it, if you do this, 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 and this, I'm not going to harm you anymore. Could be that. Or it could be she doesn't believe that this partner is actually trying to help her. Okay? But she threw out party and celebrate. So this tells me that she was going to meet somebody. Was that a lie? Can the person she was going to meet be the liar? And she wants it to stop. She wants this person to tell the truth. Did this person have something to do with setting this up? We don't know. But she says this liar is holding secrets and she wants it to stop it. Tell the truth. Okay? So even if this person set this up with these two and is no longer involved in it, but had something to do with it, she wants them to tell the truth, whoever this person is. And I think it's somebody... I think somebody knows something, somebody that she was going to meet to celebrate on, on the thing that, come on, celebrate with us, it's this or it's that, whatever she was, she was asked to come and meet somebody and this person lied to her. And they're holding on to this secret. So I don't know what it was with these two how this person goes in. This person may not have nothing to do with this happening at all. But she's saying that she was going to a party to celebrate. I think she was going to meet somebody to celebrate. This is meeting up. This is like a get together. And they're celebrating something. So I think this person got her there on, under false pretense. Okay. And now that this has happened, she wants him to come forward. This person may be afraid that they're going to be linked or they are linked to this. But she's saying, stop holding the secrets. Tell the truth. So as of right now, like I'm not getting, you know, the goosey bumps and all that stuff. I'm not getting that right now. So I'm thinking that she could still be alive. Okay, so we're going to hold on to this hope. And I believe there's two people that are with her. One is pure evil. And this guy, I'm not saying he's a good guy. I think he has some, some mental health problems too. But I think he's trying to help her get out of this alive. But right now she's on the border. She's on the border of being safe or being unsafe. And I think if they don't find her soon, she, if she's not dead already, which I don't see her being dead yet, I see her being seriously harmed by these older guys. But I don't see her dead yet. But they better find her soon. Because if they don't, I don't think this partner's going to win. Okay? So that's my read. That's my take on this, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I pray for the safe return. And see, now I'm getting goosebumps when I'm saying pray for the safe return of Gia Fuda. Okay? Say, say an extra long prayer tonight for this girl so that she can be brought home safely to her family. And give the, in your prayers, keep this guy in your prayers that he gets her out alive okay so that's my read guys if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you're made aware when new readings are posted 
and when I do go live okay and share this out where you can and please let me know what you think of this read in the comments below okay until next time you guys take care of yourselves and stay safe bye-bye for now